Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you another real simple and easy way to find the area of a triangle whose three vertices are given as you can see in our case. And now you can see we have a three vertices. So our the strategy is we want to make one of these three vertices we want to convert them to zero. Let's walk around the vertex, first vertex. We want to convert this one. How are we going to make it to zero, zero? So I can make it to zero, zero. This three, if I, three minus three is going to become zero. Negative one, if I add one. So if I do this one, I'm going to get what? If you add this one, so negative three, three, that's going to become zero and zero isn't it so whatever we did negative three and one over here we're gonna do exactly put down these same numbers over here as well so negative three positive one and likewise I want you to put down negative three and positive one so far so good simply so let's simplify this one that is gonna give you negative four and this become positive five and this simply becomes negative 5 and this becomes negative 2. So now what we got is we got one of the numbers becomes 0, 0. As you can see now, we are going to ignore, we're going to disregard, we're going to simply throw away this 0, 0. So we ended up with our these two numbers. We know that the area of a triangle formula is 1 over 2 times base time height. But in our case, our triangle in this case, we don't know the base value and we don't know the height value. So that means we are not going to use this formula. So we're going to use the formula instead this one over here as you can see area of a triangle equals to a half time out minus in I'll explain it to you momentarily what that means so as you can see in this case out means we're going to be multiplying exterior numbers and in means we're going to multiply interior numbers so here you can see that uh, negative 4 and negative 2 are our exterior points and 5 and negative 5 are our interiors. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this given triangle by using this formula. So the formula is 1 over 2 times we're going to multiply first the exterior points which is negative 4 times negative 2 that is going to give you positive 8 and then I want you to put a minus sign in between so minus and then you multiply the interior points 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 so 1 over 2 times when you have a negative signs next to each other they become positive so so this is going to be 1 over 2 times 33 so that is going to give you 16.5 thus our answer turns out to be the area of triangle is 16.5 square units so let's move on to our next example similarly we've been given three vertices and our strategy is to make sure that one of vertices that one vertex must become zero zero look at these three vertices the easy way to make any one of them to zero zero this last vertex is going to be easy to make zero zero because zero is already one there so how i can make this four to uh, zero by just putting a negative four over here so that simply is going to become if you add this thing that's going to become 0 comma 
zero. Once again, you don't have to add a subtract over here since this is already zero. Since we subtracted negative four over here, you do the same thing, same thing. You just put down negative four right up here and negative four. So that is gonna give you negative one, two, and here this is gonna give you negative two, negative one. Once again, we are going to ignore or disregard. We're gonna throw away zero, zero. So we ended up with only these two points, as you can see, this one from here and these from here. So now we are going to use this formula to find the area of this given triangle. And uh, as you can see, our exterior numbers or the exterior points are negative one and negative one, and our interior numbers are two and negative two. So let's calculate the area of this triangle. So the formula is one over two times we multiply the exterior numbers. Negative one times negative one is positive one. And after that one, you can see that we have a negative sign. So we're gonna put minus sign and then we multiply the interior points. This is two times negative two is negative four. So once again, as you can see, we have uh, two negative signs next to each other. So that's gonna make it positive. So one plus four, and that is going to be one over two times five. That is gonna give you 2.5. Thus, our answer turns out to be area of the triangle is 2.5 square units. And finally, this is our last example. Let's work on this thing. Once again, we got three vertices and we want to make one of these to zero, zero. We wanna convert it to zero, zero. Let's focus on the first vertex over here. We're gonna make, convert it to zero. How are we gonna convert this one to zero? By simply subtracting negative one and subtracting negative three, so that's gonna give us zero comma zero. So whatever number you put down, we must put the same numbers right underneath these ones. So I'm gonna put down negative one, negative three, likewise, negative one, negative three. So simply, this simply add them up, so that's gonna be one, negative six, and over here, this is going to become negative two and negative four. So far so good. So the next thing as we did in the previous examples, now we ended up with one of the vertices turns out to be zero, zero. So we're gonna simply disregard. We're gonna throw this one away. So we ended up with these two points only as you can see. Now we are going to use this formula to find the area of the triangle. As you can see over here, out means we are multiplying exterior numbers and in means we are multiplying interior numbers. And as you can see, our exterior numbers are one and negative four and our interiors are negative six, negative two. So let's calculate the area of this given triangle. So the formula is one over two times we're going to multiply the exterior numbers. One times negative four is gonna give you negative four. And then we are going to put a minus sign in between and then we multiply the interiors. Negative six times negative two is gonna be positive 12. So that is going to give us one over two times negative 16, and that is gonna give us negative eight. And we know that the area is always positive, so that means this negative eight is going to become positive eight. And that's our answer.
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.